Yeah. My name is Sanjeet Lamba and uh, I'm Managing Director for a Japanese pharmaceutical organization called Eizai, which is headquartered in Tokyo. And we have a large research and manufacturing center for the global markets based in India at Vizag and also the commercial operations here in India for domestic market. Quality is, in general, is our uh, comparison to standards. So for everything, there is a reference point. So if you see, in general, compliance to specifications is something we say, is, is it meeting the quality standards or not? Pharmaceutical quality in general is very, very specific because for each pharmaceutical product, there are specifications for each product like a tablet or a capsule. And within tablets, you have individual specifications also for each individual product. So there is a specification for each pharmaceutical dosage form. And also there is a quality specification for each therapy area products and they, they need to be complied to if we say that these products are meeting the quality specifications. I, I see a, a larger focus on quality in different parts of the world. It means differently sometimes to different organizations and different regions. Quality for a pharmaceutical product, in my opinion, should be same because the patient is same everywhere, whether it is a patient in India or US or Japan market. So, uh, there are individual requirements for different countries and regions. For example, in Japan, for which you know my organization I work for, quality is very different. Quality doesn't mean only the functional quality. Quality also means the cosmetic quality. So that means a tablet or a capsule should also look perfect cosmetically other than the functional quality of a product. Whereas if you see the US, the compliance to specifications, which is same as Europe, and same as other parts of the world. So in baseline, if you see, if, an, if a product is meeting its predetermined specifications, we say the product is meeting the standard quality specifications. The trend is, there's a large work which is going on harmonizing the quality specifications for individual countries and regions. For example, there are three major regions in the world which define quality, US, Europe, and Japan. Regulators in these countries also are working towards harmonizing the specifications because they are very important. The product is moving in commerce in different barriers and also different uh, regions. So when the product moves from India, for example, to the U.S. market, it should qualify to the U.S. Uh, quality specifications. Europe also has its own regulatory guidelines for quality. Same is the case with Japan. There is a need to harmonize these specifications so that at the end of the day, what we are doing is we are testing the product as per US, as per Europe, Japan, and sometimes, for example, if a company in India is manufacturing for three regions, they have to test for all. The product also becomes expensive. The product also needs to be tested because it takes a lot of time in testing for these three regions. So there is an organization called uh, ICH which is an international conference on harmonization, which is developing procedures and systems and also common specifications so that there's a harmonized way of working as far as the quality is concerned, as far as assurance of quality of a product is concerned in different parts of the world. As on today, India is not uh, complying to ICH and India is also not complying to WHO GMP specifications, which is the baseline across the world if the pharmaceutical product has to meet certain standard specifications. In India, we have a guidance which is called Schedule M. Schedule M specifies is what it is required for each pharmaceutical product to meet various specifications, what we need to do as far as different processes are concerned, and what are the assurance mechanisms which are being built up in different products. There is also a new awareness which is coming up in India that we should graduate to the next level of quality and that the first that initiative which has been taken by the government is to move from Schedule M to WHO GMP standard. That would be the baseline standard because it's a universally accepted norm if we follow WHO GMP standard. If we do not follow WHO GMP standard, each organization who wish to export to 
for example, WHO designated countries, they need to have compliance separately for WHO, get an approval, get an inspection done for them, and then, then only you are able to export a product to those countries. Very common example is anti-AIDS products or vaccines, which qualify to WHO specification, and then they are allowed to move into the international commerce. But if we graduate to a WHO GMP standard in India, not only it is good for the industry, it is good for the patients because we are assured that the patient is being assured a minimum guarantee of an international level of a quality which is followed everywhere in the world. So that's something which is going on right now. I recently interacted with the Department of Pharmaceutical and also other associations and how do we graduate Schedule M to WHO GMP and the government is serious. Right now the awareness programs are going on in India to talk to the industry and also create awareness what is the difference between WHO GMP and Schedule M. So the difference is not much as on today but there is, the diff there is a different way of working and there are different standards which need to be followed for WHO GMP which in my opinion uh, we should be able to graduate to that level in the next couple of years. I think one of the biggest challenges today is a very diverse pharmaceutical uh, companies which are there. We have organizations which are uh, uh, in the best in class because they are qualifying to international standards like US, Europe, Japan and other parts of the world which are very stringent regulatory guidances. Uh, they are exporting as we know that India is a f also called a pharmacy to the world. That means India exports a lot out of India based to all these three regions. That also tells us that India is capable to deliver to an international quality. What we need to do is we need to really harmonize those standards and bring those quality of products to India because India is very diverse. So if you see that there are more than 10,000 companies in India, they all do not follow the same standard. And that is the reason even if there are generic quality products, two generics of the same product are also not equivalent. They are different because they are manufactured under different quality systems. They comply to different requirements. There are in-house requirements of uh, each company. So what you see today in the industry or today if a patient goes out in the market and buys a product, products of different companies and uh, products which are manufactured by different organizations, they are not equivalent. They may meet the very basic requirement of only the availability of a drug in that particular tablet, but how the drug behaves over a period of time, how much release is there in 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour, depends upon how the product is designed. And also the, what the patient will get the benefit out of it will depend upon how the product is designed. So these products are des not designed in the same way. If the designs are different and the specifications uh, are one, 10 companies can meet the specification but the designs are very different. So patient behavior or we say patient outcomes would be very different. The world is moving now in, for example, US or Europe or Japan, the world is moving towards pay for patient outcomes. So if you get the benefit, you pay. If you don't get the benefit, you don't pay. That's the kind of assurance level the world is moving that means the companies have to graduate to a very high level of a quality to assure the patients that your uh, performance is assured in a product. Whereas today if you look at in countries like India, we have a large population, we have a very diverse system, we have a state versus central way of administration of uh, the policy. Uh, products manufactured by various organizations are not equivalent and that's where it is so difficult for a patient to assess what I should buy because if the government is talking about bringing a harmonized generic quality of a medicines, the patient is not aware of that. How, how do I select a good quality product? And that is the reason sometimes brand comes as a rescue for the patients because they know that these companies or these brands are over a period of time have established themselves in quality. I would say that this is a big challenge both for the government as well as the industry how do we really come to a common platform and say that this is the, you know, the basic standard 
the quality must meet for every product which is there in the market. But this is not the situation as, as in today. We have counterfeit products, which is another big challenge because these are the illegal supply chains which are existing at different levels. And to track these supply chains effectively is the most important area of focus for the industry and also for the government.